Blaupunkt amps are cheap and efficient. Available online from us at qualitymobilevideo.com and in Walmart stores. These won't break the bank and offer very solid performance. The Amp 3000D is a monoblock amplifier coming in at sub $100 and boasts some serious power that we show in our testing later in the video. Inside the box, instruction manual, hardware, fuses, remote base control and extension cable, and monoblock amplifier. The dimensions of the amplifier are 2.2 inches in height, 11 inches in length, and 7.4 inches in width. This is a versatile monoblock amplifier because it can operate in 1 ohm, 2 ohm, or 4 ohm loads. The German brand claims that this monoblock amplifier puts out 380 watts RMS by 4 ohms, 630 watts RMS at 2 ohms, and 800 watts RMS at 1 ohm. With a price tag again just under $100, if those specs are accurate, that's one hell of a deal in terms of cost per watt. Stay tuned for our testing in just a minute to see its actual performance. The Amp 3000D has a single set of RCA inputs to connect directly to your head unit with a set of RCA cables or with a line output converter. For adjustments, it has gain control, variable 0 to plus 18 dB bass boost, variable 0 to 180 degree subwoofer phase, and a variable 50 to 250 Hz low pass filter. Connect the included remote bass control to its input to adjust bass levels up front. Blaupunkt included three built-in 40 amp fuses, as well as large speaker and ground terminals. We recommend a minimum of four gauge power and ground leads. Check out our amplifier installation kits online, links in the bio below. Before we test it, let's open this monoblock up and see what the guts look like. Not bad, not bad, solid power supply, several output transistors. Okay, I see you Blaupunkt. Now, what you've been waiting for, what does the $100 monoblock actually put out? The first test we ran was at 4 ohms, 40 hertz, 14.3 volts. Blaupunk rates it 380 watts RMS here. We got a clean waveform using our Phonic PAAX as a tone generator at minus 1 dB. Our AMM1 picked up 333 watts RMS with a voltage drop of 13.9 volts, 37.2 volts on our Lumi oscilloscope while drawing 29.41 amps of current and 349 watts RMS on our HP 8903B audio analyzer with 1.2% distortion. Going down to minus 2 dB, distortion dropped to 0.44% and our output dropped to 282 watts 273 watts on the AMM1. Next, we tested at 2 ohms, 40 hertz, starting at 14.3 volts. At minus 2 dB, we managed to get 494 watts on our AMM1 before our voltage began to drop to about 13.2 volts from our power supply and battery bank. 32.26 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 51.27 amps of current. Our HP picked up 518.4 watts RMS with 2.7% distortion. Going down to minus 3 dB, our output dropped to 428 watts, and distortion dropped to 0.6% with a test voltage of 13.56 volts. Finally, we tested at 1 ohm, 40 hertz, starting at 14.3 volts. At minus 4 dB, we got 650 watts on our AMM1, but dropped to about 602 watts when our power supply and batteries dipped to 12.42 volts while consuming nearly 80 amps of current. We also got 610 watts on our HP with 5.4% distortion. Lowering our input signal to minus 5 dB, the output dropped to 526.7 watts, and distortion fell to 0.88%.
Unfortunately, we were limited in how hard we could push the amplifier in one ohm and two ohm operation, but our test results do still paint a picture of the Blaupunkt being powerful, but probably just coming short of its rated specs. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the video bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, but if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.